Well, that was quick. Denver Broncos head coach John Fox has parted ways with the team just one day after their playoff loss to the Indianapolis Colts. When you sign up for this, that kind of stuff uh, is always out there. So uh, I don't control that. And, uh, you know, we gave it our best effort. Unfortunately, it came up a little short. Fox, who's led the Broncos since 2011, characterized the decision to leave as mutual and amicable. Broncos general manager John Elway said Fox deserves a lot of credit for the Broncos' turnaround but said the decision was in the best interest of our long-term goal, which from day one has been to win world championships. And sports reporters suspect the move wasn't as friendly as the Broncos are making it out to be. I think they would have had to go win a Super Bowl for this change not to have been made. John Fox was, I'll go ahead and say that, was fired. John Elway looked at it as this is all or nothing. With what we spent, you've got to go and win us the Super Bowl now or never. The Broncos had a 46-18 and 18 regular season record during Fox's four-year tenure as head coach and made it to the playoffs every year. But the team never managed to win the Super Bowl. And the one time they made it last season, the Seattle Seahawks embarrassed the Broncos in a 43-8 to eight blowout. The move also increases the possibility quarterback Peyton Manning might choose to leave the Broncos. Manning's been facing questions about his future with the team following Sunday's loss, and many sports analysts have questioned whether retirement is around the corner. Following Monday's announcement, Elway informed the team's coaching staff they have permission to look elsewhere for a job after Fox departs. The new head coach will decide whether to keep the existing staff or hire some new faces. For Newsy, I'm Jay Struberg.